push that rock here with Simpson Math. Let's discuss tangent lines and let's do a kind of a little bit of a challenging example. Not that challenging. It's really a routine, but here we go. We're going to find a tangent to y equals 1 over x to the 4. See, that's not that bad a function at y equals 16. Wait, we were given a y value, not an x value. That is a little different. But what do we need to find a tangent line? Well, tangent lines are defined as a line that share a point with the graph at some point. They share a slope with the graph at that point. So m is equal to f prime of a, so that's the slope of f at a, and the tangent line has a slope equal to that. Now, when you're trying to find the shared slope, there's two steps. You have to get the derivative, and you have to evaluate the derivative at a to get the slope. And then, of course, there are lines tangent to the curve, so they are described by linear equations, y equals mx plus b, and there's a lot of ways to get the linear equation. You can use the slope-intercept, this point slope thing, which is really just the slope formula rewritten, and the graph and blah blah blah. So there's a lot of different ways to do this last one. <clears throat> Alright, so we want the line tangent to this curve. And we know that y is 16. We're given y is 16. So we put in 16 for y. <clears throat> and that's the worst x ever. And we solve for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides. I get 16x to the 4 equals 1. <clears throat> I divide by, I mean, right now I can see the answers 2 or negative 2. But if you can't see it, you here's the steps for solving. So I divide, and then I take the fourth root. <clears throat> so this is the fourth root, excuse me. And that undoes this. I have x is equal to, now remember when you're solving an equation and you take the even root of both sides, it introduces this. And the fourth root of 1 16 is 1 half. But a negative 1 half times a negative 1 half times a negative 1 half times a negative 1 half will also uh, produce 1 16th positive. So there's two answers, and that's why we introduced this notation. Not because we see the root, but because we are taking the root in an equation. So we have two possible uh, tangent lines, okay? We have one that goes through the point 1 half comma 16, and one that goes through the point negative 1 half 16. I'm just going to find one of these. Maybe I'll do the negative one because it's a little harder. And let you do this one for practice. And you'll be able to follow my steps for this one to get uh, to verify that you're doing it right. So let's go find the this particular tangent line. And it will be tangent to the curve when y is 16. This one, there will be a point, a line going through this point that's also tangent to the curve when y is 16 if you follow all the steps that I'm about to do over here. Okay. So we found the shared point. <clears throat> we'll come back to this slide in a minute. But the next thing we need to do is find the shared slope. Now, finding the shared slope is that ever, this is the shared point. And it turns out there's more than one. Okay, but we're going to find the one associated with this. Now, to get the shared slope, there's two steps. First, you've got to get the derivative. Well, before I get the derivative, I'm going to rewrite this so I can use the power rule. I don't want to have to use the definition of derivative with this nasty fraction. So I'll just go to the power rule by rewriting it, the function as a uh, x to a power. I bring the negative 4 out front, and I subtract 1 here. That gives me negative 5. And so my slope is, <clears throat> my slope formula, that is, not my slope, but my slope formula is negative 4 over x to the fifth. Now, I want to get this shared slope. What do I do? Well, I take this. Well, that was a negative 4 over x to the fifth. So I want to take this uh, derivative and evaluate it at the x value. Well, the x value, remember, was 1 half. Or I said I'd do the negative one. Okay, so the x value of our shared point was negative 1 half, so I plug that in. So I get negative 4 divided by negative 1 half to the fifth, which is a negative 1 over 32. So I have negative 4 
times well you keep change flip so you know I have this horribly uh, but 4 times uh, 3 is 12 so that's 120 and 4 times 2 is 8 so it's 128 and a negative times a negative is a positive so there's my shared slope okay so now we need the linear equation <clears throat> so the linear equation let's write down what we have we have the slope is 128 we have a xy point that is uh, we were given the y value of 16 and we found two x values and I'm doing the one where it's negative x okay and we want the equation on the line that has these two characteristics that's what we're looking for it shared the slope with the curve it shares the a point with the curve so you know let's look at this curve 1 over x to the 4 um, at 1 it's you know really small because uh, it's well it's one but at two it's going to be really small because when you you go we're graphing y equals one over x to the four you put in negative two well that's going to be six one sixteenth now however at one half negative one half here you know you put that in you're going to get one sixteenth in the bottom which gives you sixteen so it's way up here and I, I didn't give myself a very smart scale you know it's, so it's flying way up and that's terrible this whole video is ruined because I'm an idiot and didn't give myself a good enough scale but I will let you go but uh, we'll let it go but way up here is a point up at one half sixteenth and so we see that our tangent line is going to be positively sloped and very steep. Oh yeah, look how steep it is, 128. So, you know, this was probably a waste of time, but let's go get that equation of the line with those two characteristics. So how are we going to do that? Well, there's a lot of ways, and my odds is like to stick in, plug into this. Try to find B, and then remember on the last step to write the equation. Some of you are stopping when you find B. So, you know, M is 128. Y was given to us originally as 16. We found X. It was 1 half, negative 1 half. I'm doing the one with negative 1 half. You're going to do the one with positive 1 half. Well, a half of 128, that's 64. And a negative time of positive is negative. Okay. Then I add 64 to 16, and that's going to give me 80. And so what's the equation? Well, remember to write the equation. The M is 128, and the B is 80. So super steep. And crosses at 80. Yeah, that makes sense because remember the the point was way up at one half 16 and it's super steep, so it's going to go way high before it crosses the y-axis. So there's your tangent line. Math made simple. Simpson math.